hello lovelies hello welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i cut my pencil skirt with front pocket please if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button i'm going to put the link to the measurement in the description box down below um because i guess you guys can not see it so i'm going to fold my um material my fabric my brown paper into two um i don't think i'll be folding a, this into two again i think i'm wasting this so that when i want to transfer it onto my fabric i'm going to fold it as well so for my measurements for my full length i'm going to fold this according to the measurement i'll be needing that's my hip plus two inches allowance or three inches allowance considering the um the that allowance so that's what i i folded then for the length i think the length is 27 inches um the the length is 27 inches then 27 inches minus two because it's going to have a band minus two which is the band then plus two down you are going to minus the two from up then add two down for folding then if you're going to turn it up with lining or whatever you want to turn it up with you can add um um one inch for joining of the band then half inch for folding it up or one and a half inch or as well add that two inch if there's excess you can trim it off just to be on a safer side so i'm going to add the two inches down then i'm going to mark um the beginning of my measurements then for the waist to the to the hip is nine inches considering that it's a high waist depending on how tall or short your client is please measure from waist to hip and know the measurement so mine is nine inches i'm going to mark the nine and mark across it to get a straight line So for my hip, my hip is 44. That's 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches. I'm going to mark at 11, then add 2 inches allowance for joining an allowance <laughs> for joining adjustment. So I'm going to add 2 inches allowance. Then for the waist, the waist is 38. Um, 9.5 plus 3 inches. The reason I'm adding 3 inches is because of the darts. You don't have to have any buff coming out of the cloth after sewing. So I'm going to add 3 inches, 2 inches for normal allowance and 1 inch for um, for my dart, making it, making it 3 inches. So for the down part of my um, skirt, that's where the skirt ended, I'm going to mark my hip minus 2, that's 11 inches minus 2, no, that's um, 44 inches minus 2, that I divided, but if you want it more fitted, you can just do 11 inches minus 2, and you get a more um, fitted pencil skirt. Or better still, you can go in by three, depending on how tight or penciled you want it to be. Then I connect every line to it to the end. So I'm going to go ahead and take my dart. I'm going to use my nipple to nipple measurement, which is 4.5 for me um, to take my dart. So I marked as 4.5. And then on that 4.5, I'm going to take half inch on both sides. On the 4.5 mark I, I took, half inch from both sides um, of, the, of the measurement. Then I went down and took as two, and from the hip measurement, I came up by one inch. You don't want your dart to extend to your hip, so I came up by one inch. Then I'm going to mark as well that 4.5 inches down to connect it with the one up for me to get my dart, my accurate dart.
then i went ahead to slant my dart that's from the one inch above the hip to the half inch i marked at the waistline i'm going to slant everything to get a straight line to get not a straight a slanted line <laughs> from the uh, 4.5 nipple to nipple measurement to the one one inch above the hip I'm going to go ahead and cut the back. There's no dif the, there's not much difference between the front and the back. The only difference is the zip allowance, which is one inch. I'm going to make use of one inch or as much as you want to, depending on how you work. So I'm going to add one inch allowance for the back. For it's going to serve as the zip allowance for the slit slit allowance. Then I'm going to cut the exact thing I have at the front to the back. Remembering that when you want to, um, when you are folding your, when you are cutting, you cut um, two, you are going to fold your fabric into two. Then I notched my dart as well to know where my dart is. You can cut it open, but for me, I don't like cutting op open. I just notch it to know where it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you really learnt one or two. So this is the band I'm going to attach. The band the measurement for the band is two inches but why cutting you are going to cut 2.5 so that you're able to join the band onto the skirt so um not so that you the measurement will not reduce so i'm going to after joining the whole um um skirt i'm going to to join the the band to it so to, to cut the fab the pocket i decided to use a different color of fabric so that you understand you see it properly what i will I, what i am doing so for the opening <laughs> i didn't really measure it but i think um it's about five inches open for the up or you can use your hand to measure it remember that this is just a free hand um, um something but i think the fabric is about eight inches then cut open by five to slant it then for the joining you're going to the fabric is going to be two you use one to turn the other one to to enable you enable you attach it to the fabric to your skirt then you put it this way by the side depending on the side you want the 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 pocket to be at joining um by the side the the side and the up on the waist if you like you can just you can sew it on the skirt before you join it to the side before joining every other part of the of the skirt i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed thank you